Hi friends, welcome back to Panika Tutorials. In this video, I want to discuss about event handling. So I sincerely request everyone to watch the complete video for better understanding. An event is an action that could be triggered as a result of the user action or system generated event. So an event is an action that could be triggered as a result of user action. Like user can click a mouse, load a page or press a key. All these are the user actions. Now an event is an action which will be triggered by the result of a user action or system generated event. React has its own event handling system which is very similar to handling events on DOM elements. So the same way how you handle the events on the DOM elements in the same way React has its own event handling system. As I said earlier React has its own event handling system which is known as synthetic events. The synthetic event is a cross browser wrapper of the browser's native event. So React has its own event handling system which is a synthetic events. Now let me discuss how can we handle the events in the functional component and then I will discuss how can we handle the events in the class component. To explain this one let me go to the visual studio and in the components let me create a new file and then keep a name as event fun c dot js let me go to the event fun c dot js using the react snippet let me create a functional component. If you want to create a functional component using the react snippet, you need to type the command as rfce. Let me press enter. Now you can see we got a functional component whose name is event fun c. Now in the div tag, I want to have a button. So if I want to create a button, I need to use the button tag. Inside the button, I can provide the value. So I am creating a button called click me. Once user clicks on that button, I want to display some information. So here button click is a an event or mouse click is an event because on a button you are using the mouse and clicking it. So I can say that this is an one event. Now let me go to the app.js and then I want to import this event fun C dot JS. So how can I import? I need to write import event fun C from components event fun C. Okay. So in the event fun C dot JS, you have the functional component called event fun C that I am importing. Now in this div tag, I need to provide the tag called event fun c. Let me save this app.js. Let me save this event.js. Let me go to the browser and let me refresh it. Now you can see we got a button called click me. Now if user clicks on this button, nothing will happen. But I want to handle this event and then I want to display some information. So when the user clicks on this button, a click event is fired. Our goal is to capture that click event and execute some basic code. So let me go to the event fun C dot JS and then I want to have a event. So in the button tag, I want to have an event called on click. Remember one important point. React events are named as camel case instead of lower case. So you need to provide on click is an event and then provide the equal inside the curly braces. You need to provide the event handler. What is that event handler I want to provide? I want to provide click handler. And now I need to 
provide the function called click handler you know that in javascript within a function you can define another function so in the function event function f u n c i will define one more function called click handler so if you want to define any function you need to use the keyword called function and then you need to write click handler and then open the braces and then i want to write console.log welcome to pernica tutorials let me save this one let me save the app.js go to the browser and let me refresh it again and then click on this button called click me now you cannot see any output okay right click on this browser click on inspect and then you can go to the console now let me click on this button called click me now you can see we got an output as welcome to pernica tutorial so once the user clicks on this button a click event has been fired and once that event has been fired i want to display welcome to pernica tutorial so this is the way you can handle the events in the function component and remember one important point in the functional component whenever you are providing a event handler it should be a, a function it should not be a function call if you call the function instead of providing that a function in the event handler if you provide a function call then see what will happen let me save the event func.js and app.js go to the browser and let me refresh it and then let me see before clicking on the button called click me we can see the output as welcome to panika tutorials let me again click let me again refresh it now before clicking on the click me button you can see the output as welcome to panika tutorials because you are passing a function call instead of a function in the event handler if i click on this button called click me now you cannot see any difference okay so please remember one important point so with jsx a function is passed as the event handler instead of a function call so you need to remember this point you should pass a function instead of a function call let me save the event func.js app.js and let me go to the browser and let me refresh it now you can see we did not get the output as welcome to pernica tutorials in the console once i click on this button called click me now you can see the output as welcome to pernica tutorials i hope you have understood it now let me discuss how can we handle the events in the class component in the components i will create one file with the name as event cls dot js in the event cls dot js using the react snippet i want to create a class component if you want to create a class component then you need to provide rce and press enter now you can see we have one class component called event cls in event cls dot js again i want to create one button called subscribe in div tag i need to provide one button open tag and the closing tag inside that one i will provide the value as subscribe now once user clicks on this subscribe button i want to display some information so what i will do i will save this event cls.js and go to the app.js and then i want to import this event cls.js so how i'll import i will write import event cls from components event cls and then here i will write event cls tag which is a self closing tag and let me save this one 
go to the browser and if you see we have a click me button and the subscribe button now once user clicks on the subscribe button i want to execute some basic code so to do that one i will go to the event cls.js adding a click event handler in a class component is similar to the functional component how we have added the click event handler in the functional component in the button tag we have provided the on click and then we have opened the curly braces and then you have provided the function name as click handler in the same way you can add the click event handler in the class component so what i will do as it is a class component all the method should be accessed with the help of this so i will write this dot let me provide the function name as click handler i will define that one so above the render method i want to provide click handler and then i will write console.log i will write please subscribe to my channel okay let me save the event cls.js app.js and then let me go to the browser and let me refresh it and then let me click on the subscribe button now you can see we got the output as please subscribe to my channel if i click on click me button now you can see we got the output welcome to panica tutorials also so like this we can handle the events in the function component and also in the class component I hope you have understood it. If you still have any doubts related to this concept, feel free to ask me in the comment section. I will try to clear your doubts as early as possible. Thank you for watching the complete video. Have a nice day.